All right, back on the bench now is the VSS H2. Already got the strings almost all the way off. Got to really get to that fingerboard. So, you know, it's seen better days. I play the crap out of this. This would, I always, I call this my Eddie Van Halen guitar because the things I do to this is what Eddie would have done to his. I really got to replace this this toe knob but yeah the strings are ready to come off and then turbo slinky pretty much the only strings that change are these three so but all right just want to do that a few moments later later all right since i kind of cheated last night and all that and I cleaned it up and this uh string trees needed a little bit of uh TLC as well and yeah the front board was really bad I should have filled that but I was doing this kind of in the dark literally not in the dark I didn't know what I was doing like there was no lights I was getting brown outs through the apartment so thank god for the uh cell phone lights but I still gotta just go through here and just kind of give the buy a, a little one two run through but I had to go in the back, loosen up the the uh, the the claw and all that. So now this actually sounds better. And here to show, I mean, it's the same action base on it that I would have normally. So, but now I barely touch it. So. And that's with the FU tone springs, so I mean, I have it backed up so far, and you would think that it would fall out. But no, the FU springs uh, work phenomenally, and here's how I have my pickups. And that's how far I li literally have my strings off the fretboard. Like, it is very super low. And then, like the one video I showed you, the, the springs go like that. So, and then like that, I, like I was stating in the first part, I do need to get a new tone pot. So that's like nine bucks. I'm going to see if Mr. Jim can throw me an extra tone pot possibly. If not, it's just it's 10 bucks. But just wanted to show everybody this and because it's in like what I call Van Halen tuning, strings are still new. So, and a fun thing about this tuning Let's say, okay, the high, high E flat. All right, that's actually in tune. All right, that's in tune. All right, so pull the trim bar back a little bit. It's in tune now. Pull that, pull that back some more. And that's how you actually keep these trims in stable condition so you don't touch the tuning pegs anymore. But I've already showed this trick on one previous video. That's why I like these more than I like uh, Floyd's anymore. You see? Yeah, I go through it a couple times, but when I found this out, I was like, you gotta be kidding me. But yeah, there you go. This is the VSS H2. Customized to my liking. Clip locks, all that. I am, I will be putting the, uh, same pickup configuration in this bad boy as I will have in my vaporized model here in a couple, uh, we'll have next week, which will be a 50. I'm always going to have a 59 in neck. Love that sound. Flawless. You can't go wrong with it. I will no longer do EMGs. I love the EMG. It's a great pickup. I just, I don't like the, it just sounds wrong. It's, it's great for slapping something together really quick, but I like, I like tone and you get that from Duncan's and passives more than at, for all the ones I played, I just didn't get that right raw tone that I wanted that I do out of passive. So 
I will be putting the Duncan Custom, the SH5 in this, but I was even thinking because I call this my Eddie guitar, I was thinking about putting his pickup in this. Because the V I'm putting, uh, the, the Dime Bucker in a 59, the 7 string will have, uh, the SH6 Distortion 7 string version, um, the bass I don't know what I'm doing with yet. And so, yeah, I'm just trying to keep them all similar because I want this to be the same almost as the telly because the telly, the only thing I'm going to customize with that is I'm putting a white clip lock strap. Oh, yeah. He wants to come say hi. But there is everyone. That's the second one. Nine and a half to, t uh, to 46. And he's going over and making sure I did everything right. All right, everyone. Hope to see you guys soon. And a new songs kicking my butt right now. So. Hopefully that'll be up here by the weekend. But all right, everyone, take care. Thanks for stopping by. Give it us a try. Uh.